Yes, digital product family, guys, we're back with another one. A pet one, a Halloween one. This is the one. <laughs> guys, we're back again. Come on, 20 plus in a basket. Boom, we're ready to go. Yes, bestseller. Boom, Halloween dog collar. How much is it making? Let's check this out, guys. Let's just see how much this is making, guys. It is making one month old listing. 1,218, 1,218 one month listing, amazing, absolutely fantastic, 20 plus in a basket, boom, it is a 50% sell, so you've got to take that into account, guys, if you love digital product, you love creating, selling, and all of that amazing stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, please, and get me, uh, make sure that you share, everyone, we've got to share, we love sharing, just got to share. Anyways, let me share this with you. Check it. I'm looking at some interesting Halloween ideas, some Q4 ideas that I keep wanting to show you because everything that comes into my head, I'm like, oh my God, I got to share this because this is the one. Check it. Listen, the, the kind of pet niche is massive. The more I look deep into it, the bigger it gets <laughs> it's mad the pet niche you got to get into the pet niche somehow so what i'm trying to say is think about your store i mean obviously i'm the type of uh person that likes to have everything related right i believe in sort of being having clarity in within your store i think it's important to have a store that is clear clearly identified by etsy about what you sell so bear that in mind but definitely think about whether you can add a product like this or add pet products to your store. And if it can somehow fit, somehow relate, then that would be fantastic. And this is a really lucrative market. And this is what I'm saying. You want to hit a few things. You want to touch a few things. Firstly, Halloween, right? Halloween is massive. You know that. Come on. Massive. That wave of customers just ready to buy. People like buying gifts during this period, Q4. People love buying gifts. They like buying stuff for their pets. Pets is a massive market. So do try and get in it if you can. I'm going to show you a few pet products that are absolutely fabulous that you really need to consider. They're just lucrative and they're easy to do as well. So how does it work? Well, this is how it works. Is you want to be able to send, I mean, you're going to say to me, yeah, but I don't sell physical. You don't need physical products. You just hook up Printify. Check this out. So let's look at this. We're looking at Halloween dog collar, right? Really cool. Nice and profitable. Just got a Halloween theme to it. You can tell, look, it's got a Halloween theme to it. Really nice. Um, I love the images as well. The mock-ups are really cool. Really sells the product. Um, on top of that, they make it also they also do a, like a, a sort of engraved buckle again they also add a sort of personalization to it which is the beauty about this okay um so you know that not all of them will do but i think it definitely goes a long way but you know this is the kind of thing that they they're showing you showing you different fabric options really nice really cool and and showing you what you can get okay um so like i said you know, these guys are also, you know, when you look deep into it and you look at the sellers themselves, they're doing really well, fantastic sellers. And, you know, but their focus is, you know, this is their niche pretty much. You know, you've got various thing, things from collars, bandanas, um, bow ties. Now, when you start getting into it, there's so many different products within the pet product, if you like. Uh, niche that you can actually get into and they're very very lucrative look dog bandanas they're cool you know very you know different sort of designs look at these these kind of floral ones as well so obviously not only could you get into the kind of halloween theme but also floral ones are very popular floral dog colors people love these as well um so yeah it, it, these are these are absolutely amazing and there's a good market in there for that but how do you do it uh, specifically so literally look you can actually hook up something like Printify. Printify is perfect for this because what it is, is let's just take the dog collar, for example. You've got the generic, um, you've got this brand, for example. Sorry, you've got this, the, the actual, um, the collar itself. And what you do is you'd actually get a design. So you create a design, something like Mid Journey. You can do it on Mid Journey, really. And I'll show you very quickly how to do it as well in this video. 
um and then you really just kind of add your design to it um you know get it get it on top of it and then literally printify will sell it for you so they'll sell you the product and and they'll sell the product for you and obviously you make that 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 income right um, they've got loads of pet products, by the way, and I think it's something definitely to consider because these are also pet bandanas. If we saw that, they're very popular. Um, there's also other things like um, tank tops, uh, pet bowls, where you can a actually add an individual element. Pet bowls are really cool. You could maybe put a, a pet portrait design on it of the of the of the dog itself or the pet, and maybe the name. You know, there's so much in it that you you can do, and you don't need to do it like yourself. You just need to create the design and then hook it up, hook your Etsy store to Printify, which is real quick. And then all you need to do is upload the design. So I'm gonna show you the steps of how to do this, but I just wanna show you very quickly the other lucrative sort of areas within within this sort of pet niche, if you like. So you got also things like bandanas. These are Halloween specific bandanas, but they don't have to be Halloween specific bandanas. There are bandanas that are also that can be for if you like evergreen during the year so but i think because as q4 is approaching i think it's important to look at this because this is another sort of you can tap into this market too and again christmas is another one that you can tap into but look there's so many like you know there's so many beautiful designs for halloween and like i said it's not a such it's not a very saturated market something that you can get into look when I type in Halloween bandana, I'm getting 13,489 results, which is really good to get into. So I think if you can add something like this to your store and it's very easy to create, then why not? And the bandana designs are exactly like the color. You just create something, say, in mid-journey, which I'm going to show you, and you literally hook up Printify and sell that. So it's really not hard. And like I said, it's, uh, it's something that is quite, you know, quite a good niche to get into, especially right now. The other thing you could actually do, um, which I'll show you, is um, also it could be things like mugs. So you could get a design maybe that you can create that goes on a mug, which is also a gift. But what you see here is that you can see that this is um, personalized. So these are the names of the cats. So you can actually do a personalized idea to it this is kind of more clip art style so you know it could be like a sort of clip art personalized design that you do so when someone contacts you you could actually do like the personalization clip art if you like and then put it on a mug which you hook up printify to sell because you can also hook up printify so there is an endless kind of endless ideas where you, ways of making money where you can sell digital products and physical products alongside each other in a store but they relate. I hope that makes sense. So anyways, check this out. We're going to do like a design for a bandana or a um, a uh, dog collar, right? Let's just go ahead. So I'm going to jump on to Mid Journey right now. Here we go. Now what I did was I just very, very simply just I was looking at just ideas for different um, sort of uh, Halloween designs that I could create and I just simply typed in pumpkin and bat in seamless paper in a cartoon style with a purple background now you do want to have it seamless and you know you can obviously if you check out my playlist of, of how to create um, digital paper in seamless style do check it out I've got a playlist on it so have a look go through it and it gives you an idea of what to do um, you know seamless is, is interesting and it should be done because obviously when you wrap it around you want it to kind of meet on the other side and you want it to be seamless tiled if you like um, so that is a that is the that is the method with that um, actually one thing I did forget to add good job I did the video is it's not gonna definitely be seamless unless I do this so I'm gonna copy this Go to imagine, put my prompt in, and gap minus minus tile. All right? Minus minus tile should actually make sure that it is seamless for those of you that know. Okay? So, what it's going to do is going to hopefully give me some, some definite seamless um, designs. That I can use. I can use. It. That's cool. I'll, I'll use these. There's a, there's a few good ones there. I don't like angry pumpkins though, man. 
I like happy pumpkins. I don't know why it always are oh, there some there's some happy ones over there. That's cool. All right, I got some. Mm. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'll go with the happy ones, yeah? They look funky. Go with number two. Enlarge that. Yep, I take it. I take it. Some of them pumpkins look a bit mad, though. <laughs> My light is gone. One second. Okay, so I'm going to save this image in my downloads. Let me save it in my downloads. Let me save it there. Boom. Yeah, so do check out my uh, playlist. Now, let's go. Uh, do check out my playlist. Now, I don't think I need to. I mean, look, when you download something from Mid Journey, it's about 120 DPI. Um, it's not the clearest. But for something small, it should be okay. If you do need to um, upscale it, make it clearer, better resolution, then I would suggest to upscale it using an AI upscaler. I've got upscalers, links in my description for everything I use. Check out the upscalers, check out my playlist. Da -da -da -da. Now let's, let's do this, right? So let's say I wanna get a dog collar and I, I've hooked up Printify to your, you've hooked up Printify to your store. And then what you need to do is, uh, all you need to do is, um, you need to add the design. So this is what we do. We go to start designing very quickly. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And what we do is we need to upload our design, right? Okay, so what, what, what's going on? Okay, so go to my design. Check out the design that you've just, you just got. So it's gonna, Add the file to library. So we can see that it's medium resolution, right? It's it's probably needs to be a bit better, to be fair. Let me just go to pattern. Let me just sort of sort this out quickly. Create pattern. All right. So it's a medium res. It's 160 DPI. I kind of mm, I'm not I'm not the keenest on that one. So I probably want to upscale this. I want it to be a really cool quality. Yeah. So I'm gonna dump that. I'm not happy with that. I'm gonna go back okay so i'm just going to literally drag drag my image i'm going to do i'm going to use it on photoshop to increase the resolution i i've got all the links in my description for everything that i use um all the different ai upscalers i use all sorts of software right i like using photoshop i like using uh, all these ai upscalers they're all cool um i got my design here i'm just going to literally let me just look at the image let me look at the size very quickly. What is it? 72 resolution? Psh, not great. So I wanna make it 300. Uh, I need it as 300. Click OK. Okay. Yeah, cause you know, Photoshop will do it quick for me. And then what I'll do is I will export this as a PNG. All right, get this as a PNG fellas. Yep, yep, yep. All right, yeah, cup of tea. What? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, you can replace replace it with a good quality one. So then what I'm gonna do is, let me just double check and see if it's, uh, did it download? I'm sure it downloaded anyway. Did it download? Yeah, let me just, yeah. Let me just double check this one. Is it a better, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it out now. So let's go over to, Right, so now that I've uh, saved it as uh, 300 DPI, let's check it out. Let's see what, let's see what Printify says. Does Printify like it? Do you like it, Printify? Let's upload the design, adding file to library. Tell me it's high quality, please. Yes, the res is amazing. It loves it. It loves the res. Love the res. Yes, right. So what I'm gonna do now is a high res. That's what I'm talking about. Create pattern, boom. That's my pattern. Save product, boom. All right. Don't forget you can do it any other uh, upscalers. Check out links in my description. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? 
Check that dog collar out. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is absolutely amazing. Right. So, so good, man. Look at this. It actually gives <laughs> such a beautiful mock-up, man. These mock-ups are... Look at that cute dog. Gee. Anyways, let's get out. Now, let's do another product. I want to use the same design. See, this is the beauty about this. You can actually use the same design on another product. I love this. Let's go catalog. Let's go catalog. Catalog. Um, where are we going? Accessories. Pets. Okay, let's go to pets. Let's go to the bandana. Because these, these are so popular as well. All right, there you go. Bandana. Start designing. Check this out. So you can literally sell the same design um, on onto different products, and this is what I'm saying. This is what this is what I'm trying to say. You know, use the same design. Look, boom, uploaded. DPI is great. Can't say anything about my resolution there. Look at that. Mmm, three hundred res. Lovely. Let me go to pattern so I can get that pattern because it's a seamless pattern. Mmm. Let me say product. Check this out, guys. This is my Halloween bandana ready to sell? I'm ready to go. Check out the mock-up. Boom. On the dog. Absolutely gorgeous. Ready to go. This is what I'm trying to say, guys. This is what I'm trying to say. That's all you need to do. And that's what people are doing. Hook up Printify. Sell it on. Now, if you want to add another angle to it, you can make it a kind of custom thing, um, personalized thing. But, guys, Q4, if you can... Get into different niches that are making the money, guys. Right? If that are making the money, let's just look at this Halloween bandana, right? Let's look at this Halloween bandana niche very quickly. Now, you know, this seller is fantastic, seller is, is selling all of these, but let me just go to let's have a look at this. Oh, this is a cool one. So, best seller, send demand three people bought in the last 24 hours. How much are you selling for bandana? This bandana is selling, getting $510, two-month-old listing only, right? $510. And don't forget, I've just shown you exactly how to do it. There you go. Look, there's a bandana, right? You can actually just hook up Printify. Now, obviously, different sellers do different things. Some people actually sell the product. I mean, sell the physical product. Some people sell the design. Uh, sorry, some people hook up Printify to sell the physical product. Um, so different ways of doing it, but an easy, easy way is just to get Printify, hook it up to your Etsy store and sell it like this. That's what you need to do, guys. And like I said, try and try and um, incorporate something like Q4, like Halloween, Christmas, because, you know, Easter, because things like that do sell quite well. And they really they're really fantastic gifts during this time of year. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. See all the links in my description for everything that I've used. And please check out the videos that are coming up next. And don't forget, don't forget, I shall see you on the next video.